Hallelujah. Come on, praise the Lord, everybody. Hallelujah. Yeah. Happy New Year, Mount Hebron. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. God has been good to us. He's kept us for another year. Father, we lift up your name. Thank you, God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. We worship you, God, for being consistent. For being an almighty, wonderful God, we thank you, Lord God, for keeping us when we were low. So even in our high points, God, you have still been with us, and we thank you, God. Hallelujah. We bless your name this morning. Hallelujah. You are worthy to be praised. Come on, everybody, let's praise the Lord this morning. Come on, speak well of him. Open up your mouth and tell him how good he's been. Hallelujah. 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 Father, we thank you, Lord, this morning. We bless your name this morning. Father, we ask, God, that as we uh, 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 move on this first day of the year, oh God, that we give more of ourselves to you, oh God. Hallelujah. As we rest in you right now, oh God, we thank you. As we look over the uh, last year, oh God, and how you've kept us and how you've made ways out of no ways. this year you will continue to show us where you've been last year lord god and from that place we can give you praise and then give you more of ourselves father i pray for those who are still on their way lord god may travel and mercy be with them i pray for those who are on the live feed god that those who couldn't make it lord that they give you praise lord this morning i pray for the speaker who is going to speak this morning god that you will speak through them oh god and that they will say with us say of the Lord, hallelujah. And we count it as done, hallelujah. Bless the praise team, oh God. Bless this house, bless all the uh, the members here, oh God, as we give ourselves to you. You have your way in this place. It is in Jesus' name, amen, amen. Hallelujah, come on, everybody stand up on their feet. Let's praise the Lord this morning. Hallelujah, come on, clap. King Jesus! King 
we go. There is power in the name of Jesus. Power in your name. Hallelujah. Thank you, God. There is power in the name of Jesus. So much power in his name. Everybody say, there is power. There is power in the name of Jesus. So much power, yeah. Power in his name. name. Hallelujah. Say, there is power. There is power in the name of Jesus. So much power, yeah. Power in the name. Hey, one more time, one more time. Say, there is power. There is power in the name of Jesus. So much power, yeah. Power in the name. Hallelujah. There is power. There is power in the name of Jesus. So much power, yeah. Power in the name.
count of three one two three Jesus at that beautiful name demons have to flee every knee must bow every tongue must confess every sickness has to leave everyone that is bonded bound can be free in the name of Jesus hallelujah we serve a true and living God he lives he is not somebody that we just read about in the history book that was. He lives. Hallelujah. And it doesn't have to be Easter in order for us to yeah. say he lives. Yeah. We serve a true and living God. We serve the King of Kings. We serve the Lord of Lords. Hallelujah. We're just going to continue to lift up the name of Jesus, that powerful name. Hallelujah. Here we go. At the mention of your name, every knee must bow, every tongue confess that you are, you are Lord. Yeah. Hallelujah. That's, a way, that's where we can celebrate. Hallelujah. Yeah. And at the mention of your name, every knee must bow, every tongue confess that you are, you are.
worship around this room. Jesus, you are Lord. Just Savior, not just Savior, but Lord Jesus, you are. We return you to your rightful places, Lord, over our lives. Sing Jesus, you are. We return you to your rightful places, Lord, over our lives. We take the crown off of our head and we return it back unto your head. We get up out of your seats and we ask that you come and take your rightful place as Lord over our lives. Hallelujah. You are not just a lowercase L, Lord. You are the capital L, capital O, capital R, capital D, Lord, over our lives. We surrender to you, oh God. We say that you can have our lives. You can have our day you can have our will you can have our family you can have our professional career because Jesus you Jesus you are Lord oh not your Savior oh, but you are Lord and Savior Jesus you Jesus you are Lord oh, one last time oh, Jesus you Jesus you Let's just say that Jesus, you, Jesus, you are Lord. Put him in his rightful place, Jesus, you, Jesus, you are Lord. What things, maybe it wasn't us, but what things have we put as Lord of our lives? Jesus, you, Jesus, you are Lord. Has it been our career? Has it been our family? Has it been money? Has it been our image, our reputation? Jesus, you are Lord. You are Lord. Not the likes, not the reputation. You are Lord. Jesus, you. Jesus, you are Lord. It's not how much money we can make or what kind of cars we have. Jesus, you. Jesus, you are Lord. Maybe it is another person that you have made Lord over your life. Ooh, Jesus, you. Jesus, you are Let's take this time to ask God for forgiveness because he will. And say, you know what? I apologize, Lord. But Jesus, Jesus you are Lord. I apologize for making him or her or my kids Lord over my life. Jesus, you. Jesus, you are Lord. I have to apologize for making my father Lord over my life, my mother Lord over my life. But Jesus, you are Lord. You take priority, Lord God. You take priority because Jesus, you. Jesus, you are Lord. Oh, last time, say Jesus. Jesus, you are Lord. Somebody shout unto God in this place. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Jesus. Jesus, you are Lord. None before, none after. Jesus, you are Lord. The great I am. Jesus, you are Lord. Keeper of your soul. Jesus, you are Lord. The propitiation for your sin. Jesus, you are Lord. Savior and King, Jesus.
give you a minute. tell you why there should be an astounding worship in this room today is January 1st 2023 and you're still here the devil tried in 2022 didn't work. You're still ah, all of the tricks on your marriage. <laughs> it didn't work. All of the plays over your life. It didn't work. All of the tricks over your mind. It didn't your neighbor high five tell them it didn't work <laughs> happy new year it didn't work i'm still here still devil you tried it still here you thought you had me. through everything he could at you. If you can't speak it over your life, you can speak it over this church. He tried it, but we're still here. Woo, Jesus. And you can declare this even in the face of adversity even if you're currently looking at adversity it could be worse you're still here still keeping you still holding you still covering you you're still happy new year <laughs> happy new year happy new year oh my lord because Jesus is Lord. Because at the name of Jesus, everything has to change. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, this ain't just a new year, saints. It's a new season. A new season. 
<laughs> oh boy. I don't know if you're ready. You better check your closet. <laughs> the storm is over now. You've been watered. <laughs> it's a new season. I hope you're ready. I hope you're ready. No matter what it is that you faced in 2022, God has still been great to you. But as Miley Music says, we got to move forward. 2022 is in the rear view. The only reason why you need to look back at it is to see what you overcame. You have no reason to still be dwelling in May of 2022. I don't care what happened. You have no reason to be thinking about the arguments of September 2022. It's over with. New season. <laughs> New day. Forward. I'm preaching already. New season. New day. Forward. Everything that you encountered last year strengthened you and ready you for the new season. Okay. Okay. I tell y'all like I like the Holy Ghost told me to tell you. Be seated, be seated in the room. Be seated, be seated. It's a new season. It's a new day. Saying saints. Yeah, yeah, yeah. One more time with that full voice. Celebrate the name of the Lord in this place. Hallelujah. 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 Glory, glory to God. Happy New Year, Mount Hebron. Happy New Year. Welcome. Welcome to the first day of a new year, 2023. Before I get into my word, the Holy Ghost just told me to tell you, don't wait till the battle is over. Shout now. Shout, shout right now. Don't, don't, yeah. That's what the Holy Ghost just dropped on my spirit. Don't, don't, don't wait. Don't wait. Don't wait. Hey, hey, hey. Don't, don't set your affections for later on 2023. Shout now. It's already here. It's our David's already done. David's all Devante, it's already done. Don't 
can't wait. You can shout right now. He already did it. It's already yours. It's already victory. It's already declared. It's already decreed. He's got it. Shout now. that is it's already done speak it over your life already done already done already fixed already repaired already shondo he turned it around already my lord all right okay 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 Whew. I want to introduce to you all um, the new vision and the new mission for Mount Hebron Church. Amen. I want, I want to introduce that to you, and then we're going to get into what, I, what the Holy Ghost gave me as the theme for the year. And so, 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 so I'm not promising a time today. Just bear with me. Amen. It's a new year. It's a new season. And so, and so we're, we're going into this thing brand new. Amen. Um, we, we've, we've had identity under our previous pastor, Pastor Judah Early. Uh, 14 years worth of identity that, that the Holy Ghost gave him. But now the Holy Ghost has given me the identity for Mount Hebron as I take over as the pastor of this church. Our vision statement is very simple and very, very easy to memorize and remember. Simply put, the vision statement of Mount Hebron Church is knowing Jesus and making Jesus known. Knowing Jesus and making Jesus known. That's our vision. That's it. Nothing else matters. Nothing else matters. What, 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 my, what the Holy Ghost gave me as the vision for this house is for individuals to come in and know who Jesus is, that they may go out and make Jesus known. As I look at our demographic, amen, amen, I'm, I'm glad y'all y'all clapping there. As I look at the demographic of Mount Hebron, as I told our leaders at our leadership conference, we have one of, one of three, well, all three, demographics that come into our church number one individuals who are babes in christ who've never never walked this walk before they're new they're, they're fresh into the church doesn't matter the age they're fresh amen and so they're trying to figure this thing out number two individuals who grew up in the church they have religion but no relationship Hey Amen. Can I get a water from somebody, please? Thank you. They have religion, but they don't have relationship. And then number, number three are individuals who've been with Christ all their life, but are backslidden or fell away from Christ. Either way, we need to know Jesus and make Jesus know. Amen. How are we going to do that? Our mission statement. And I'll have copies of these for anybody that wants one. Thank you, sir. It is the mission. Thank you. It is the mission of Mount Hebron Church to develop the individual that we may enlarge the Christian community. We do this by sowing time into the word. That we may know the word, causing us to grow in the word, that we may go with 
the word. I'll read that again. It is the mission of Mount Hebron Church to develop the individual that we may enlarge the Christian community. We do this by sowing time into the word, that we may know the word, causing us to grow in the word, that we may go with the word. And so now our new tagline, our new tagline is sow, know, grow, and go. Sow, know, grow. That's it. That's the new identity of Mount Hebron Church. Matthew 28. The Great Commission. Go. Right? Right? I, if, if, if it's, 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 it's sad that today's church, especially the black church, the, 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 the vision and the true vision and the mission of the, of the church today is to feel the room. <laughs> that's that's everybody's got catchy little taglines and vision statements and stuff plastered on the walls but the real heart of the pastor is feel the room let me get as many people in here as possible and become the most popular church in the city let me become mega that's the vision but that's not God's vision for the church he never desired for us to congregate together in one room what he desired for us to do was to come be deposited into that we may go and truthfully the church should be a revolving door you should come in go out come in go out come in fed go out come in get fed go out that's what the church should look like and that's what Mount Hebron is going to be about amen that's what we're going to be about because, because if you're coming here every Sunday and getting nothing, if you're coming here every Sunday and never bringing anyone with you, if you're coming here every Sunday and I get to see the same faces for the whole year, then I'm missing the job. I'm, I'm, missing, I'm, missing, I'm missing the mark. You hear me? I'm missing the mark. The idea should be that you guys get this just the same way I get it and, and be able to teach it the same way I teach it. That's the job. That's the mission. That's the mission. There's more preachers and teachers and pastors and deacons and, than, than what we have. There's, it's, it's all in the room. I've been saying it all year. It's in the room. God's men and women is right here in the room. And so our job is to develop that so that we can enlarge the Christian community. Amen. 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 Celebrate God in here with me, please, for that. So no, grow and go. Again, I'll have, I got some copies here up here with me, but I'll have more of those if you desire to have one. There's going to be t-shirts made. We're going to get banners made. It's a big deal. And so, and so I hope you're ready to help me carry out this vision. Amen. Carry out this mission. I hope you're ready because it's not a one man job. It's a us job. We will develop the individual. We will enlarge the Christian community. We will. Amen. Amen. And the Holy Spirit was also dealing with me about a theme for this year. Um, and he dropped a word in my spirit in October of last year. And, and, I, and I presented it to my wife one day at work, and she was like, I love it. And I sat on it, and I prayed on it, and I studied about it. And I was sure that it was the Holy Spirit, but you know, when you hear the Holy Spirit's voice, you also want confirmation. You know, maybe it's just me, but it's, you know, sometimes I'm like, Lord, just show me. Just let me know for sure that this is, that this is you and this is what you desire and then about two or three weeks ago three weekends ago I uh, 
<laughs> I had my, my nephew over at the house. His name is Egypt James. We, I emphatically call him Ewax. Sometimes we call him EJ. Y'all seen him with us, the little light-skinned baby that be with me and Mika all the time. And so we're at the house. It's a Saturday morning, and we hanging out. We playing with the basketball, and we're watching Gracie's Corner. Anybody hip to Gracie's Corner on YouTube? Y'all ever seen? All right, all right. I know, I know my, my, my ones with babies. Y'all know what that is. Um, for those of you who don't know, Gracie is, you know, this, this little black animated character that sings all types of little nursery rhymes and counts and ABCs and everything else. And so we're watching it and we kicking it. We having fun. We dancing. You know, he jumping and stomping and everything else. And we counting to 50 and we're doing our ABCs and saying what the sounds of each letter are. And, and then Gracie... <laughs> Gracie came on the screen and, and uh, she said, you know what time it is? And she started singing a song. It's time to clean up. It's time to clean up. It's time to clean up and put our things away. <laughs> and I'm, I'm looking at the screen now. I'm, I was dancing and, and playing it. And as I'm listening to her sing, I'm hearing more than the song. <laughs> I'm hearing the Holy Ghost. And, and she's going in. Time to clean up. It's time to clean up. It's time to clean up. And put our things away. <laughs> EJ hitting my leg because he still want to dance. And <laughs> he pulling my pants because he still want to play. But the Holy Ghost said to tell y'all that it's time to clean up and put your, your things. <laughs> October, he told me that the theme for this year is surrender. Throwing in the towel. I surrender. Mount Hebron, 2023 will be your best year if it's a surrendered year. I'm going to say that again because I don't think y'all caught it like I just said it. 2023 will be your best year if it is a surrendered year. If I can help you a little bit further, the word surrender you look it up because we say it we throw it around at church all the time and it's sur surrender unto God sur submit unto God or well, we're going to really dig into this thing this month the word surrender means to give up completely or agree to forego especially in favor of another I'm going to read that again as y'all just said wow the same way I did when I looked it up to give up completely. That's a big word in that definition right there. To give up completely or agree to forego, especially in favor of another. What in your life do you need to surrender? Especially given that, that, given that definition. What in your life? I don't know it. You know it for yourself. What in your life do you need to give up completely? Or completely forego in favor of God? <laughs> Let me help you from the text. Go to your Bibles. Go to Matthew. The 19th chapter very very popular and famous passage of, of scripture Matthew the 19th chapter and we're going to break in at the 16th verse thank you Matthew the, the 19th chapter breaking in at the 16th verse I 
I didn't forget about the hot spot either. I know it needs to be done, but today I just I wanted to I wanted to get through all of the things that I had to get through, and so I didn't want to prolong the time. Some good stuff that we read right now, though. I pray that you're still in your hot spot. I believe we're in Kings. First and Second Samuel, First and Second Kings. I told you are like dramatizations. You really, really be should be reading your Bible. It's it's amazing stuff in there. It's like watching a real good movie, and so you you ought to be checking it out. If you haven't been, you got grace and you got more time. So catch up because your name will be called in 2023. Happy New Year, Matthew, the 19th chapter. And I want to read from the 16th to the 22nd verse. If you got it, say amen. If you don't, say hold on. All right, Matthew 19, 16 through 22. That's all right, baby. I, I hear you. Let them let scream. It's life. Let them scream. Let them play. Matthew 19, 16. You got it? Amen. And it says, King James Version, and behold, one came and said unto him, good master, what good thing shall I do that I may have eternal life? He said unto him, why callest thou me good? There is none good but one that is God. But if thou wilt enter into life, keep the commandments. 18, he says unto him, which... Jesus said, thou shalt do no murder, thou shalt not commit adultery, thou shalt not steal, thou shalt not bear false witness. Honor thy father and thy mother, and thou shalt love thy neighbor as thyself. Young man said unto him, all these, I took care of all that. I've kept these from my youth. What lack I yet? Jesus said unto him, if thou wilt be perfect, Go and sell that thou hast, and give to the poor, and thou shalt have treasure in heaven, and come and follow me. But when the young man heard that saying, he went away sorrowful, for he had great possessions. You may be seated in the presence of the Lord. I simply want to speak to you on a topic, throwing in the towel, I surrender. I surrender. Thank God for our praise and worship team this morning who labor. Yeah. Amazing, amazing stuff this morning. God bless y'all. I thank y'all for your press. I thank you for your voices. I thank you for your worship. Tyler, I thank you, brother. Thank you to our, yeah. And I also thank my brother Dave who has decided to to come back and play once again for us. It's so great, so great to be fully staffed and fully rolling. Amen. And so I, I thank God. And if you have a voice, hear me. If you have a voice, if don't 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 just use your worship voice at at home in front of the dishes. If you really, if you be, if you, if you have a voice and desire to worship, the praise team is looking for some, amen, please, please come, come, we need you, we need your voice, we need your worship, amen, you can come and see Brother Tyler or any other praise team members, Rick, Keone, Shamika, my wife Shamika, your, your first lady, you can come and see any of them and, and, and they'll give you all of the details as to joining the, the praise team, amen, amen, amen. Throwing in the towel, I, I, I surrender. And so, and so here, Jesus is, is, is with his disciples, and there comes this young man. All right? And he, he comes to Jesus, and he asks Jesus, what is it that I need to do to gain eternal life? It's important that you understand that this young man is rich. And so his idea of getting things is earning things. 
Yeah, y'all, y'all understand. He, be, 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 because obviously he's earned the riches and the possessions that he has, he's under the perception that he can earn eternal life. Unfortunately, because of how his mind works, he doesn't realize that he's looking at eternal life. <laughs> He's literally talking to the source for eternal life. But he's asking the source how he can earn it. My God. And, 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 and so he says, good master, what good thing should I do that I may have eternal life? I've done good stuff to get this bank account. I've done good stuff to have all of these donkeys and cattle and everything else that I got so surely you can tell me rabbi what what can I do to to get this eternal life that you preaching about and I love how amazing Jesus is you see because Jesus could have cut this conversation real short (laughs) he he could have told this man right off top well you can't earn it I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man comes to the Father but by by me. Real quick. It could have been two verses long. But the Jesus that we serve decided to come at this man the same way that he came at him. And we're going to break this thing down. Check it out. 17, he says, first he says, why call us me good? Right? He said, There's none good but one that is God. Now, that does not take away Jesus is good. Because we know that Jesus is fully God and and he was also fully man. But in in essence, what he was asking him is, do you know who you're talking to? (laughs) You you come to me with good master. Are you sure that you know who, who it is you're speaking with? He says, there's none good but God, and you're actually talking to him, but we're going to keep it going. He says, if thou will enter eternal life, keep the commandments. What Jesus told him was the answer to his question, if it were to be earned. If eternal life was something that could be earned, then here's what you need to do. Keep the commandments. Y'all still following me? Mm-hmm. And, so, and, so the, and so the young man says, which one? <laughs> I know it's 10 of them. Which one? That showed how off he was right there. He said, keep the commandments. He says, which? <laughs> He's like, which, which, which one of these 10? I, I said, keep the commandments. I didn't say keep one of them. But look at how Jesus keeps going on his level. He says, thou shalt not do murder, thou shalt not commit adultery, thou shalt not steal, thou shalt not bear false witness, honor thy father and thy mother, and thou shalt love thy neighbor as thyself. I need you to see something real quick in this. What Jesus just gave him was the whole second tablet of commandments. (laughs) And, and, and that second tablet of commandments are all of the commandments that have to do with man's relationship with men. What, what it shows, what it shows is that this rich young man had more of a problem than just his riches and possessions. You see, we always read this, this story right here and we only look at the fact that he had an issue giving up his riches. But Jesus knew the level that he was on. He knew the heart that had approached him. And he knew that the real problem wasn't just the riches and possessions, though that was a problem. But there was another issue. You got a problem with men. You got a a problem with natural relationships. (laughs) So, 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 So he tells him all of the commandments that have to do with man's relationship with men. Each and every one. And look at what the man's response was in verse 20. I've kept all of these. Since my youth, I've handled them. Here the problem is, he may have been doing a decent job of keeping those commandments with man's measurement. 
You see, you see, it's unfortunate that a lot of us, we move in ways that's pleasing to man and then feel like we're pleasing to him. Because brother such and such and sister such and such tells you that you are, um, you are a great man of God. Oh, your prayer life is amazing. I can hear it every time you get the microphone. My God, you are a servant of servants. I saw you the other day cleaning up the church, right? And, and, and then we take all of man's compliments and compliment it to ourselves as if God gave it to us. And then we have the boldness to go before the Lord as if we've done something. You see, we look at this young man and we oftentimes turn our nose up or mm, mm, mm him. But we are just like him. We are just like him. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We, 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 come, we come before the Lord asking and requesting and telling when we are so far off and we can't even see it. Matter of factly, a lot of us still feel that we can earn something from God. When his text clearly tells us that our works are as minstrel rags. That's what that means. But yet we, 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 we feel like I can, I can go to my prayer closet and begin to request and ask. And, but I've, and I've, I've, Lord, I've been and I've done and I've... You ain't did nothing. <laughs> you ain't did nothing but be covered by the blood of Jesus Christ. So all you did, that's it. All you did was say yes. Thank, thank God for his grace. So Jesus goes on and says, verse 21, well, if you want to be perfect, still answering him in the way that he asked. If you want to be perfect, then go and sell your stuff. If Jesus would have stopped right there, he would have been okay. If it would have just been, go and sell your stuff, I'm sure that young man would have went and did it because he would have still had the money from the sale. <laughs> he would have still had the money from the sale, and so he would have been okay. Good, oh, that's easy. But then Jesus added more. And give it to the poor, the first issue. Man's relationship with man. You're telling me that you want me to take the stuff that I've earned, sell it, and give it to people who didn't earn it? <laughs> then he says that you will have treasures where it matters. You see, you're so attached to the treasures that you've earned that you won't even part ways with it. Better yet, you won't surrender. You won't give up completely or forego in favor of me. <laughs> you won't let that stuff go because you're so attached to what you have naturally that you have no view spiritually. Oh, I'm, I'm, I'm painting a picture for you. Go sell all you have, give it to the poor, then you may have treasures in heaven, and then you can come and follow me. Saints, I wanted to get right there because that's where I hang my hat. 2023 has to be a year of surrender so that you will be able to follow. I hope y'all clapping because you're ready to surrender. <laughs> 2023 has to be a year of surrender because what you think you've been doing isn't following. I'm helping you. Because if you've been trying to follow Jesus with your stuff other than this cross. Ooh, notice that he said in the text that he needs you to take up your and follow him. That's the only thing you ought to never surrender. <laughs> but if you've been trying to carry 
your stuff and follow him, I'm here to tell you that you're failing. The hell that you went through in 2022 uh, is because you've been carrying your stuff while trying to follow him. And I'm here to tell you that as long as you have any attachment to the, the stuff, there's going to be a time in your walk while following that you're going to stop and turn to the stuff. Whatever your stuff is. If it's money, there's going to be a time where you find yourself at the greatest walk in your life. And somewhere in that season. Oh, hold on one second, one second. Ah, oh, that's not adding up. I need, I need, I need another couple thousand dollars. You've been trying to carry your spouse. Huh? There's going to come a time while you following him. Thank you, Lord. Come on, baby. Come on. Thank you, God. I follow. I lo oh, oh, one second. What? 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 Please. What? And while you focused on that argument, you've lost your follow. Y'all, 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 y'all with me? Follow, holding on to your kids, holding on to your job, holding on to your possessions. Whatever it is, whatever the stuff is, today, saints of God, surrender. <laughs> completely, <laughs> completely give up completely give up every time I hear this word surrender I think about the police I, pray, pray. I used to be very very bad with police so y'all uh, sorry brother Kennedy I love you I used to be real bad let me tell you real bad with police uh, you know in, in, the, in, the, in the heat of you know um I'm an open book. I, I had a situation one time. We, me, my wife, and a couple of friends of ours, another couple, we went bowling one night. And as I'm coming out the bowling alley, these guys was there. And they, you know, I, I, I don't know if they liked my little velour sweatsuit. That'll tell you how old this was. I had on a velour Sean John sweatsuit. Oh, I was, I was, I was, yeah. I put, I put that on. I put that on. Uh, and so I'm walking out the spot, and the homie, I hear the homie like, man, I should take that joint. I say, man, what? <laughs> you know, I'm too proud to let it go. I'm too proud to let it fall off my back. What? Come take it then, cuz. We go, long story short, and we start fighting in the parking lot. Me, my dude, even his girl was into it. Shamika was trying to pull me away. Police show up. They break us everything up, but they're aggressive towards me. <laughs> now you need to you need to sit down and shut your mouth. And da -da -da. I'm like, hey, I'm like he started this, man. I don't talk to him. Don't, who are you talking to? I, you know that that's the part I don't know. That, that's that's where brother Kennedy. I know all y'all ain't like that. Y'all ain't all like that, but that that's the part that used to bother me, right? But but, but what they were asking in the moment was for me to just surrender. Let me handle it. I got this under control. Oh, help me, Holy Ghost. I got it under control. Let me handle the situation. You sit down. Instead, what I did was started cussing and yelling and getting real belligerent with the cop. Cop goes on to tell me, if you say another cuss word, I'm going to arrest you for, disor no, for uh, disturbing the peace. I said, how in the, mm, can I disturb the peace in the middle of this? And uh, next thing I know, I was in handcuffs and in the back of his car. But I wanted to give you that whole illustration to show you how we are with God. When he comes into the situation and asks you to sit down, and surrender <laughs> you still got stuff you want to say you still trying to put your hands on it you still trying to fix it for him you still trying to overrule and run him and he's telling you that just if you say another word you say one more thing and I'm just gonna let it go 
Because that's what God does. Yeah, because God will give you over <laughs> to whatever God you give yourself over to. And so if in that moment you decide that you want to be God, he's going to let it go. And so while I was upset at the cop, I put myself in handcuffs. I'm mad at him and, and cussing at him because I felt like he should have been doing something else when he was doing just what he needed to do. And we do the same thing with God. We're asking God to go and handle him, handle her. Why are you talking to me? God's like, I think you, if you say one more thing, I'm going to have to chastise you. It's going to be for my glory, and it's going to be for your good, but I'm going to have to get you together. <laughs> That's the God we serve. <laughs> what, God, what God punishes you for you to be better? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. If you, if you say another word, and then we find ourselves in handcuffs because we wouldn't just. And just like I sat in the back of that police car sorrowful and sad, this rich young man, verse 22, when he heard the sayings, he went away sorrowful because he had great possessions. He couldn't let go. To follow the king. He couldn't clean up. And put his things away. <laughs> he couldn't get it together. Mount Hebron. What. I asked at the beginning. In your life. Do you need to surrender? What, what in your life. Do you need to clean up. Clean up. <laughs> clean up. And put your things to what? Whole room full of your stuff. Those of you who got babies, y'all know what cleanup time is. You walk in that room and you like, oh my lord. You know, babies, babies get they 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 play with stuff for a minute, and then they get something else for a minute, and then they get something else. For a minute, and then before you know it, every toy in the toy box is in the room. And you walk in the room like, I... <laughs> clean up time. Every, get everything. Everything. Get it up. Get it up right now. Clean it up. That's what God told me to tell you this morning. All of that stuff you've been playing with, <laughs> and all that stuff you took out your toy box, it's time to clean up. Put your things away. Surrender. Throw in the towel. Throw it in. Those of you who don't know that analogy in boxing, right? Your corner determines that you get getting destroyed. Help me, Holy Ghost. When your corner determines that you're getting destroyed, it's over with. You're not responding to his punches. <sighs> You, 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 <laughs> your back's against the wall. You're taking everything that he got and you ain't doing nothing in return. The corner decides to grab a white towel and they throw it in the ring as a sign <laughs> of surrender. I, 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 it's over. Some of y'all been in the corner too long with the enemy. Unresponsive. Or some of you have been in the corner too long with the inner me. Mm. Unresponsive. And the Holy Ghost is in the corner like that. You need to surrender. We quit. Come to me. Now I'll give you rest. Come to me. I got you over here. Saints, what do you need to let go? You got to surrender. As I get ready to close, I got to show you something else. Because we read 16 to 22. But I want you to see what happened right before that text. Go to verse 13. Y'all still got your Bibles open? Mm. I need that back. 
Verse 13 says, Then were there brought unto him little children, that he should put his hands on them and pray, and and the disciples rebuked them. But Jesus said, Suffer little children, (laughs) and forbid them not to come unto me, for of such is the kingdom of heaven. In other words, don't stop those little children from coming to me, because those that are like these little children will inherit the kingdom of heaven. Who? Why, why did I need to read that? It, it, it shows you something. I want, I want you to see this. Jesus has a high regard for the weak and the vulnerable among us. Ooh, ooh, that's so good. Yeah, 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 yeah. Right before this wealthy, fully dependent on himself guy shows up to Jesus, some kids that are weak and vulnerable show up to Jesus. The man had to be rebuked. The children were asked to come. Uh, Don't stop them from coming. You need to leave and go take care of some business before you can come. Ooh, I'm preaching. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, I need them because they're weak and vulnerable. Listen, I'm not talking about weak as in I have no strength. I'm talking about weak as in he is my strength. (laughs) Yeah, 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 yeah. Weak, weak. Weak and vulnerable. Babies and children need somebody to depend on. Uh, They don't don't have things that they can take care of, that can take care of them. They need somebody. That's why we always see the news and remember the two little twins that was just missing. And one of them was found at the airport, but the other one, oh, everybody in the city was praying for that baby's return. We didn't know what was going on. She's in stranger's hands being dealt with. By, we don't know how people didn't know if he, he was dead. People didn't know if he was just sitting on the side of the road somewhere. Thanks be to God. He was returned. But. But that baby needed the mother and the father didn't need to be in the hands of a stranger <sighs> begs this question. Whose hands are you in? Ooh, Jesus. Who, 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 who are you depending on? Because Jesus just said, I didn't say it, the, the, the words are in red, suffer them to come unto me because those that's like them inherit the kingdom. You going to be the rich young guy? Fully dependent on what you got? Too, too attached to depart? Too attached to surrender? Or you're going to be a surrendered baby that runs to the father, embraces him, lets him him carry and console you. What's it going to be today? What's it going to be this season? Happy New Year. You you, 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 want to make a resolution this year? Resolve to surrender. Because everything comes with it. (laughs) Everything. Everything. Surrender to God, everything else lines up. And the crazy part is we'll make resolutions that's actually surrendering. But we won't, how how many people just ever say I I, I make the resolution to surrender to God? Nobody, nobody ever says that. You'll surrender to to the fast food and the burgers and stuff so that you can get on a diet. Surrender. Huh? Huh? You'll surrender to spending the excess money so that you can get a savings and get your money up. That's surrender too. Problem is you're surrendering to the wrong stuff. Surrender to him and everything else comes with it. Everything. Every, it's the answer to everything. Marriage struggling? Surrender. Finances in shambles? Surrender. Surrender. Kids acting crazy? Surrender. Job on the fritz? Surrender. Everything falls. Surrender. 
Stop trying to follow a list. That, 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 that. That's why Jesus gave it to him. You want to be perfect and keep your commandments then. We tried that already and, and they failed, but that's what you want. You want to earn it, then go ahead. Then try it because you're not going to be able to do it either. That's why I'm here. But go ahead. Now, I told you in the, at the beginning he gave him the second tablet, but in, 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 in verse 21, when he told him to sell all this stuff and give it to the poor and then come and follow me, that was the first tablet. <laughs> the, the tablet that says no graven images before me. <laughs> the one that says no misuse of my name. The one that says remember the Sabbath and keep it holy. That, they, he, he dealt with him about the first four under that pretense right there. Surrender everything and follow me. Stop making idols out of your possessions and your money. Whatever it is that you got. Whatever it is, you know it. Today is the day. January 1st, 2023. Of surrender. Today. If that's you. If that's you, you know. You know. You know that it's some stuff. You know that it's some things. I've I've, I've been been, been paying way too much attention. I've been giving way too much time. Too much energy. I've been been, been focused on the wrong thing. I need to give it all to God. I need to surrender. I need to take my hands off. Stop going and stop getting beat up in the corner. Stop leaving your toys all over the room. Stop resisting and surrender unto God. If that's you today, the altar is open. The altar is open. Make this new season a new season for real. Make this new season a new season. Be serious about it. Give it away. Hallelujah. Give it away. There's you. Come, 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 come now. You can kneel at the altar. You can speak. Mm. <laughs> My wife just reminded me from that illustration and that story that I gave y'all that that same night that I went to jail went to the police car and they hauled me off to prison or to, to jail my wife she was left she wasn't my wife at the time she was my girlfriend but she had just started recently driving she had my car we were all the way in Willoughby and she had to try to find out where it was that they were taking me lost on the freeway in a car that she really doesn't drive in a parking lot all by herself I left her stranded because I wouldn't surrender let me, <laughs> thank you Shamika let me, let me tell you something thank you for helping me preach your surrender is also connected to someone What I'm trying to ask you is who's lost because you won't surrender? Who's left stranded? Ooh, because you won't surrender. Because you're still attached to stuff. Because you're still in your own head. Who's lost? She didn't know how to find it. wasn't no GPS back then. This was before all of that. She didn't know where to go. She had to ask one of the arresting officers how to get to where they were taking me. Thanks be to God that he was able to help her. But because I was so stuck on me, I left her. (laughs) Wasn't even thinking about her. Saints, what what is your lack of surrender costing you? 
or even better yet, what is it costing someone else? You have to surrender. Father God, I thank you. I thank you for these vessels who are at the altar this morning. Who have determined by walking up front that this will be the year of surrender. Whatever it is that they have in their hearts and in their minds as needing to let go of, I pray, God, that you would pry their, their fingers off. Right now, God, I pray that you would re remove their hearts from it, God. And allow them to set their affections on you. Huh. Nothing in this natural realm can e equate to the treasure that we have in heaven. Let there be a release today. A complete and utter release. I pray that there's a lightning that happens over their bodies as they let go. Let go and put it in your hands. Father, you, you handle the stuff. Let us handle you. God, I thank you that for that whole time, that we were attached to the stuff while we were dragging it along while trying to follow you stopping every so often to give our attentions and our affections to it and not to you we thank you God that you never moved <laughs> we thank you Father that you never stopped loving on us we thank you that you didn't cut us off Father, because even, even when you give us over to the gods that we choose, you still stay attached to us. Thank you for your love. Thank you for your grace. Thank you for your mercy. That you still love us when we choose something else. <laughs> Thank you for the grace that allows us this day to surrender thank you that it's not too late still breath in our bodies still blood pumping through our veins we can still surrender and today we choose you God and so I pray I pray whether at the altar or in their seat that they would lay it down today we lay it at your feet Whatever it is, we lay it at your feet. We throw in the towel. We surrender. We give up completely. Totally forego. In favor of you, God. We, we want you more. We want you more. It's what you've been waiting for. <laughs> Arms outstretched. All you've ever asked and all you ever wanted from us was to say we want you more. I see you running. <laughs> I see you running to us. As today we lay down our stuff and run to you I see you father blocking those stones that we should have received <laughs> for choosing stuff over you I see you embracing us picking us up and spinning us around <laughs> loving on us I thank you, God. I thank you for this new season. Yeah. 2023 won't be like 2022 because this year we surrender. We lay it right here. First day, first fruits, we lay it at your feet. You get it. You get all of us. You don't want our stuff. You want us.
pray that you would awaken the faith in individuals to move not, by, not based off of what they see but move off of what belongs to them even though it's maybe a far away God we love you we thank you God that that A surrender to you brings everything. Anything we could ever need, anything we could ever want, it mends, it heals, it restores, it sets free, it delivers, it breaks, it changes, it turns around, it repairs, it fixes. A total surrender unto you. In your hands is where we desire to be. Father, it's in the mighty and the matchless name of Jesus. I pray and I thank you. And thank you, God, that the tone is set for a new year, a new season. As we take this theme of surrender throughout the entire 12 months of 2023. Lord, we love you, we honor you, we adore you. And it's in the mighty and matchless name of Jesus, I pray. And all of God's children said amen. Hug somebody, high five somebody, tell them I surrender. I surrender. I surrender. challenge you to go home and start writing out write the vision make it plain go home get the biggest piece of paper board whatever you need go to Dollar Tree it costs a dollar twenty five get you a big white board and write down everything that you need to surrender everything Put it on the top of the board. Throwing in the towel. I surrender. And then start marking that board up with everything that you need to let go. Stuff that you've been trying to handle that's out of your control. Stuff that you've been too attached to that you've been trying to bring with you on the journey that's weighing you down. It's weighing you down. Me and Dave, we used to go to the gym and they got what they call a hex bar and on the hex bar you step inside the hex bar and you pick it up and if you didn't have a hex bar sometimes me and day we we grab the heaviest dumbbells we can get and we walk around the track with them and it was so tough it was so hard to do you could you you would you, you would think you got it because watch this initially when you pick it up you're like I can do this it's not the necessarily the weight of what you're carrying it's the journey that you're trying to carry it with I could probably stand still and hold 100 pound dumbbells for an hour but once I started walking duh, I let that thing go <laughs> sit there We were never intended to take the journey carrying things. He needs your hands free so that he can put in your hands what he wants in there. <laughs> if your hands are full of the stuff that you want to carry, 
then how can he give you anything? How can he have you handle anything? You can't. Your hands are too occupied. He needs free hands. Somebody just looked at free hands. He needs free. <laughs> oh my God. He needs them free. Surrender. Surrender. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The international sign of surrender. <laughs> This position the police know you can't do anything in this position you tell God I can't do it without you in this position you tell God whatever you desire in this position you tell God however you want to handle it I surrender make this your posture for 2023 I pray, I pray that you heard me. I, I pray. I pray. I just set you up for the best year of your life. I didn't do it. The Holy Spirit did. Just set you up for the best year of your life. All of your aspirations, all of your goals, your dreams, everything that you set up by 2023, I will be. By 2023, I will have. But surrender. He'll blow your mind. He'll blow your mind. All of that stuff you set yourself up for, that's just your ideas. Surrender and watch what God does. Watch what he does for you. Watch what he puts in your life. You thought that having this by this is what... <laughs> yeah, you have no idea. You have no idea. God is a mind-blowing God. Exceeding abundantly he can exceed what you think is abundant <laughs> uh, oh by 2023 I'm 10,000 in the bank he can exceed it oh by 2023 my house is sold in with the big back he can exceed that 2023 my business is going to take it he can exceed it all you got to do is I'm helping you Find yourself like this every day, every single day, I surrender. Throw your resolutions in the garbage. Surrender. We are going to prepare our hearts and our minds for our communion. I understand and know that we were a little short on our communion cups. Um, and so I have communion over in the back end that I can serve. Who doesn't have a communion cup? Who didn't get one? If you did not get one, I need you to transition yourselves to the front row for me. Come up to the front. Just, you, you guys can have a seat. You guys can. Y'all don't have to stand up here. You can have a seat in the front. Just, I just wanted you guys in the front row so that we can make sure that we serve you. If you did get a chameleon cup, go ahead and pee.
peel back because, you know, that takes about 25 minutes. So go ahead and do that while our front row is being served. Don't get it on your shirt. <laughs> I'm serious. It's a real deal. No communion cups. No joke. As you get your communion, please just, just hold it, okay? We're going to take it all together. Just grab your cracker, grab your juice, and hold it with us, and then we'll, we'll take it all together as one.
Amen. Everybody served. Everybody got a communion. Amen. And I'm gonna have I'm gonna have Deacon Dale pray over this communion, and then we'll read scripture and embark. Amen. Amen. All his bow. Father God, we thank you. We thank you for this time. We thank you for this new year, Lord. We thank you for this first time doing taking communion of the year. We pray that you are pleased, Lord. We pray that we take it, Lord, understanding what it represents and that we live it out to the total totality, Lord. We love you. We esteem you. We honor you today. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 Matthew 26, verse 26 says, and as they were eating, Jesus took bread and blessed it, break it, and gave it to the disciples. And he said, take, eat, this is my body. And he took the cup and gave thanks, gave it to them saying, drink ye all of it. But this is my blood of the New Testament, which is shed for the many for the remission of sin. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 Thank you. Amen. Amen. Hold on to your cups. We'll have the deacons will come back around and collect those cups. Last order of business for this day is our offering. We want to go ahead and prepare our hearts and our minds to give. Amen. That's a good place to clap too. Amen. Amen. will be a lesson on the surrendering of your finances such a real real big spot um, some great theologian said it is one of the hardest places for God to get you is in your wallet definitely a part of the surrender sister Viv That's why it was important for him to give that story that he gave that we just preached from. For those of you who don't know, that text, that, that story is in all four of the synoptic gospels. Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John all talk about that young rich man. One of the hardest places for God to get you to surrender is in your wallet. And I pray that you would definitely use this lesson today and the ones that's coming as a as a as a piece of a piece of knowledge to go through the rest of 2023 for as I say every Sunday the best plan place for your finances to be is in the hands of the one who gave it to you it's the best place for it to be um, oh another basket uh, for those of you who desire to give via technology you can do so on a push pay link that's in the chat or you can do so via cash app at dollar sign mt hebron 216 again that's dollar sign mt hebron h-e-b-r-o-n 216 if you do give cash app we are asking that you would still fill out an envelope it helps us amen it helps the board with the with the reconciliation of, of funds given for the year for your benefit if you desire tax statements or anything like that from the church at the end of the year this will help us be able to do it amen so all you have to do is fill out the envelope with your name the amount and then at the top you can put cash app and if anybody needs an envelope sister Christina and the ushers in the back have one so if you could just raise your hand they'll come to you amen and, and fill out the you can fill it out just your name the amount, and then you can just jot cash app at the top. Push pay link is inside, and if you have anything that you desire to give to the basket, you can do so right at this moment from wherever you are. You can just come and drop your gift into the basket.
opportunity to give, I still see somebody, a few people filling out envelopes. Everybody had an opportunity to give. Nobody overlooked. Let us pray. Father, we thank you. We thank you for the gift. We thank you for the giver. Father, let everything that was brought into your storehouse be used for the edification of your kingdom. It's in Jesus' name that we pray and we thank you. And all of God's children said amen. 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 Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I pray that you were blessed this morning. I pray again that you take this word, amen, and use it, use it as the standard for your year, amen. Set it up, set it up in your house. Declare it over every room in your house. We surrender over every family member, everybody. Surrender. It will be the best year ever. If it's a surrendered year, amen, amen, amen. Again, I do have a few copies of the visions, the vision statement, the mission statement, and our tagline. So if you desire to have one, um, I'll take them and put them in the back with the ushers. You can grab one on your way out. Um, but let's get ready. Let's get ready. 2023 is going to be a great year for Mount Hebron, amen. And I'm not saying that, I'm not saying that because of what we're going to accomplish. I'm not saying that because of how many people are going to come into the building. I'm not saying that because of the concerts and anything else that we're going to do. I'm saying that because Mount Hebron will be surrendered in 2023. And because we are surrendered, it's going to be a great year. He's going to exceed our expectations. Amen. Y'all ready to go? Let's go. Let's get it. Let's go. Any visitors in the house? Visitors? You just wave your hand. Just, just lift it high. Let us see you. God bless you. God bless you all. God bless y'all. God bless y'all. So, so glad you're here. So glad you came. I pray that you come back. Amen. I pray that you come back and even maybe consider joining us. Amen. This will be a great place. As a matter of fact, I did not even say that during altar call. I didn't say it at all. I didn't open up the doors for people to join or nothing. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. There's a lot going on today. But this is a great place for you to be. We would love to have you. As you can see, there's plenty of seats and there's also plenty of work as we develop the individual to enlarge the Christian community. Amen. So if this is a place that you would desire to, to join, we would be happy to have you. Um, even if you desire to give your life to Christ, this is a great place to do it. Amen. We would love to pray with you, cover you in that area as well. This goes for everybody in the room. Um, but, but, but again, let's, 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 take, let's take and surrender our lives to God so that our 2023 can be amazing. Amen. This is a, a great, great day of the year. Uh, the great day of the week for the new year to fall on. Amen. What better place to start your new year off than in church? Amen. So I thank God. I thank God for that. But if all hearts and minds are clear, let's go ahead and stand and prepare to be dismissed. I love you, Mount Hebron. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Surrender church. A surrendered church. Best place to be. Best place to be. Let us pray. Father, we thank you. We thank you so much for this day. We thank you so much for a new year. We thank you that what the devil premeditated to try to take us out in 2022 was unsuccessful. And here we stand, prepared and ready for a new year. God, I pray right now, Lord God, that our hearts would be moved to totally and utterly 
we surrender. Lord, let this not be a momentary thing, Lord God, but let this carry us throughout the entire year that we may see your great works, Lord God, that we would see what it is to follow you completely and see where you lead us to what you do with us for you to get the glory lord god we thank you we love you lord god we 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 ask lord god that you would be with each and every individual leaving from this place but never from your presence let traveling grace and mercy be upon them and let this tone be set that 2023 be amazing. It's in the mighty and the matchless name of Jesus. I pray and I thank you. And all of God's children said amen. Amen. Go and be surrendered. Amen. God bless you.